Now to make this card I've taken an A4 sheet of card and I've taken one of the background papers of the football team and I've stuck it down, trimmed the edges off and stuck it down. I've done exactly the same with the second sheet but first of all I did about one centimetre, creased it and bent it over this. I'm going to stick over the top of this one. So if you put it in the position that you want it, I've done it like this so you get like a green line as well as to the design. Just turn this over, lay it flat and all I'm going to do is put a bead of good strong glue down here. Like so. Wasn't very straight was it? Just butt that up to the crease. Make sure it's as lined up as best and then just fold it over and stick it down. You might need to hold it in position for a few, um, a few minutes or whatever till it's really holding tightly. Next I have an A4 card which is printed with one of the buntings and I'm just going to cut this out either with scissors or in this case I'm going to use a sharp scalpel. So now I've trimmed out the bunting, I've got this white band at the top here. Now I'm going to crease that and then fold it. And to crease it easily, just lining that up, embossing tool, just give it a few swipes. That's going to indent it enough to fold in the right place, like so. And then to keep it nicely flat. I've got my boning tool which will really make that crease nice and flat and sharp. So I've got that, that's the bunting. So there's my card. Now I've got two options here. I could either put the bunting there at the top and stick it on the inside and then this will flap up or I could trim it and stick it down on the top which is what I think I'll do. But if I'm going to use that option I need to cut off these two little flaps here which are either side. If it's going on the back on the inside of the car it doesn't really matter. But for this I'm trimming it. So again all I have to do is put a little bit of glue on the back here. Put it in position and let it stick properly. So there's my bunting now stuck and that just flips over. You can put all sorts of things under there. But I've got one of these sentiments. Now I could either stick that down here or stick it on the inside. Let's stick it on the inside for a change. And just stick it down there. So your bunting will float down. Float down. So you've got a nice A4 card there. You can do it in any size. That flips up and you've got a little sentiment or anything else you want to stick underneath there.